Do you want to learn how to turn photos into stunning pictures, enhanced, clean, and with added elements? Do you want to learn how to easily turn a photo of a person with a dull blouse into a pretty floral dress easily at a click of a button? Stick around, I'll teach you how. Hello community of learners, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to go deep into a pretty powerful photo editing tool and it's from a very very famous brand, um, HO. I'm sure all of us must have heard of it before. The name is Adobe. So we have heard of Adobe Photoshop, Adobe Premiere, Adobe Reader. Now they dish out a light version of a photo editor called Adobe Express. It has got a lot of features in it and a lot of AI capabilities as well. I want to deep dive into two good use cases that will definitely benefit you. First off, let us log into Adobe Express. Go to Google. We look for Adobe Express. And if we look into it, it would be right up there. You click on this link that says Adobe dot com express and here you don't click on the start 30 day free trial you will want to go to the express free free is always good once we are in go into google and this is um, a very common login uh, for all of us using google account and here there are there are a ton of features a lot of bells and whistles but I want to zoom in on my use cases and that is generate with AI. For my first use case, I want to load the photo from my tour and in on this screen, I will look for generate with AI. I click into it. I get a couple of options. What I want to click into is remove objects. I want to remove the unwanted objects from my sunset. Look for your picture, double click, it should open up. And there you have it. I'm going to do a couple of things. I'm going to remove the objects, then I'm going to brighten this picture, enhance it. And you can all do it within this software. On the left side, you see a brush size and the brush size will brush over the object that you want to remove. Don't make it too big and have it nicely. You can zoom in. What I like to do is hold down my control and scroll my mouse uh, wheel forwards, backwards to zoom in and out. So within here, I will just highlight the, the unwanted objects. I don't want to make too big a margin. I see an object here. I remove it and this object I also want to remove and over here, I also remove this guy. Now it's done. I click remove. What AI will do is it'll study the picture. Ah, if you see that there is a gap there, you'll cancel it. What you want to do is to go in and make sure you fill up all the, um, the object totally. And I click remove. Let the AI do the work. You see it's completely covered. That's good. What AI will do is it'll study the surrounding and it will predict what would be a, a suitable background without this object. And there you have it. It is that smart, that fast. It gives you three options. Here you see it will imagine the mountain line and it just gives you a couple of options to see which one you like. They all look pretty similar. I'll just pick the second one. And there you have it. So what I want to do now is to brighten it. But before that, I click keep. Then I close this. Next, looking into this, I have a couple of things I can do. I want to brighten it. So I'll select adjustments. 
Then within adjustments, you get contrast, brightness. I want to make this brighter. I want to make the contrast a little higher. Highlights, more impactful. And shadows, in a way, I get the contrast by reducing the shadows. Saturation, I make this richer, make it warmer. And the brightness, voila, there. It looks pretty good, and that's a beautiful golden sunset. Now for the second use case, it is adding objects to it. I look at this picture, it could do with something in the sky. I think it will give it a nice uh, composition, a balance, if I put a seagull flying on the top right. Can I do in this software? The answer is yes. How? Ah, this was where we left off. I would just close the media. Media was where you uploaded the image. I would just close it. Then I will just click on this image and I see a couple of options here. We used remove object just now, which is a free feature. And here I will choose insert object. If I click into this, here I can describe what I want to see. I want to see a seagull soaring in the sky. Step two, there is a brush and the brush allows me to paint over the space with which I want to see the seagull. Now I want to, the wings to be like this and the bird to fly like that. And I insert, let the AI do the work and it will generate a seagull in the sky. It'll take only moments and voila, you have a seagull. The perfect right moment. You caught this shot with the seagull at the right place, at the right time. Beautiful sunset. And there you have it. My lovely holiday picture. I keep it and I close this. Now I want to download it. How do I do that? I simply go on the top right and I click download. Now you have got a couple of options, PNG, higher resolution, best for images, JPEG, smaller file size, lower resolution, PDF. I'll just leave it with PNG and I do a download. Where can I find it? It's in your download folder. If you go up to the top and this is where the file is, you click on this show in folder and it will show you where you it dumped it, which is in the download folder. And if I clicked on view, I, that's where I like what I like to do. I put extra large icons. There it is. Before picture and after picture. There is a difference. There you go. Now that's not all for use case two, which is generated fill, which is the insert object in Adobe. You can have lots of fun with it, even changing a lot of things in a picture, even changing a person's clothes in a photograph. Let me show you. We'll go back to generate with AI and within here, insert objects. I click into here. Now, let me open a photo of a person and, for example, a girl in the library. And this is entirely AI generated. She's not real, but she looks pretty real. Now, in this, if I wanted to change her clothes because I feel that mm, it's a little bit dull, it's the same thing. What you want describe what you want to see like floral dress or even floral red dress and i increase the brush size and i paint over her dress now, right now i paint over her blouse just make sure it's all covered up uh, you don't have to be too precise you can cover up the uh, bit of the book as well it's smart enough to detect um, the shape of the body and then you just need to make sure that everything else is filled inside here. Everything else is filled. So once it's filled, that's it. You press insert. You'll see a floral red dress. 
and you let it do the work, it's smart enough to detect the, the shape of the, the person and fit the floral red dress accordingly. And imagine the amount of fun you can have with this for your own family pictures or your own photos. You can insert objects, change uh, even the color of her hair. There you go. A red floral dress. How do you like that? And you have got three options. And even, I think I like this. If you don't like, you can generate some more. And you have many options. So I've used up my credits, but not to worry. It tops up the following month. And uh, once you sign up, from the day you sign up, you get 25 free credits. And one generation, every time you use an AI, either to remove an object or to insert an object, it uses one credit. So you have got 25 fun things you can do uh, each month. And uh, I think that is uh, plenty for you to try, to have some fun with your family photos. Um, so do give it a go. So that's all I've got for you today. Hope you enjoy this little tip and trick on how to spice up your photos with uh, Adobe Express. It's really powerful. Give it a shot. The best way to learn AI is hands-on, hands-on, hands-on. For more tips and tricks and other AI news, do check out my other videos. If you enjoyed this, smash that like and subscribe button. Leave a comment. What do you think about this tool? Do you recommend other tools? Give me feedback. Till then, have a great one.